Hello everyone, it's your favorite realtor, Erica Hernandez with Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate, Gary Green. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. Whatever you did on your three day weekend off, I hope you really enjoyed it. I had two inspections for my buyers that just went under contract this weekend and I was able to show a few new buyers some homes that they were interested in. So back to Monday and back to my Monday videos. I am very excited to announce to you that I'm going to start a new construction series of videos. New construction has just taken off. These builders buy land wherever they find it and they just build a whole community in a matter of months. And I just wanted to review with you guys if you are interested in purchasing a new home I'm going to be giving you some tips, some information, a lot of things that you're going to be enjoying throughout this series of videos. Today I'm just going to be doing a short introduction into this world of new construction. If you'd like to learn more about new construction, please stay tuned. Don't forget to follow me on social media at Erica Houston Realtor on Snapchat, Facebook, and Instagram, and go to my website at www.ericahoustonrealtor.com. So here in my background, you guys are going to see that I am actually in a new construction site right now. I'm going to start off this new construction series of videos with a really important message. The theme for today's message for new construction is the following. I want to stress out the importance of using a licensed realtor for your new construction transaction. If you want to learn more information about why this is so important, keep watching. Many times I hear quite a few people say that when you're buying new construction, you don't need a realtor. Let me ask you a few questions just so that you know if you will need a realtor or not. Anyone who is a licensed realtor is going to be able to answer these very quickly. This is what we do every day. I'm going to ask you a few questions that are going to really make you think, oh my goodness, I probably should hire my own realtor. The first question I'm going to ask you is do you know how to read builder contracts? Every builder contract is completely different. How many times have you seen a new construction contract? You guys don't see this every single day. It's hard to read and scan through a contract to look for the really important points that will protect you as a buyer and your money. The second question is, who pays for the title policy of the home? Does the buyer pay for this cost or does the seller pay for this cost? If you do not know the answer to that question, I'm going to repeat, you need a realtor. Sure, you may be able to ask the sales rep who's helping you at a new construction site, who pays for a title policy? And they may give you an answer, but I want you to think a little deeper. We know which ones are typically paid by the seller and which ones are typically paid by the buyer. Have you ever read a title commitment? What items on the title commitment can hurt the purchase of your home? Another question I'm going to ask you is, how much per day do you think the builder may charge you if you are not able to close on time for any reason? Many people, of course, have told me, Erica, but I bought a new home and everything was super smooth. Nothing happened. It was really easy. We went in, signed with the sales rep at the model home. Our home turned out to be perfect and everything just worked so smooth. Is this a possibility? Absolutely. By no means am I trying to tell anybody that you're not capable of doing this on your own. What I'm saying to you is another point of why you should use a realtor, that we are your insurance. Just like in a home that you get your regular insurance to cover the home in the event of a huge storm or any flooding that may happen, you protect your home and every month, I know, it's just like a car too, right? So when you pay for insurance on your home every month, you're paying for that security of your home. Something may not happen, absolutely. And I have heard people say that after they pay off their loan, they don't even pay insurance any longer. It is a little risky, but I get it. I completely get it. Our job is to be your insurance. 
thank God some of these deals go out so smooth. A lot of times they don't. I've had these situations happen with me and my clients and I'm having to defend the client, defend their money. If we need a refund, I work on getting the refund. There's a lot of things that I have done to step in and say, you are not going to treat my client like that. And that is just it. We are your insurance. I'm also going to repeat, this is a free service for you. I've mentioned before that new construction homes, the builder pays for our commission. They pay our broker for representing you as a buyer and bringing you to them. It's actually a little easier for them when buyers have realtors because we keep track of all the dates to make sure that the loan process is going smoothly, that our buyers are turning in the documents they're supposed to. I've even had to go to people's jobs get these documents that they are supposed to be turning in, I scan them over, send them to whoever I need to send them to just to help the process because people at the end of the day have a job and a life and a lot of times they're not able to stop at their job to scan over documents that the lenders are asking for, that the builders are asking for and that's our job. We are there to hold your hand and it's no cost to use. I find it really hard to understand why anyone would choose not to use a realtor for the process of buying a new home. Okay, I promised myself I wasn't going to make this video too long. I wanted to save almost best for last. I wouldn't say it's the best point that I'm making today about using a realtor, but it's going to leave you thinking. All right, so the last thing I want to say about choosing to use a realtor for your transaction for buying a new home is the following. It's a simple question. Who are you going to call after you close on your transaction. Maybe within the first year, you still have the community developing, so you may be able to call the people that helped you with the contract in the community. But what happens three years later, five years later? Maybe you have certain questions about the taxes going up, the values, are my values going up in my neighborhood? If you worked with a buyer's agent, you can quickly call that person and ask them any questions related to your home. Think about this, those sales reps, after they close out the neighborhood, they move on to different neighborhoods to start all over again. They don't have the time to answer your phone calls on any questions you may have. We are around homes all the time, so a lot of times any question you may have, it may seem simple. We will give you information on the experiences we've had because we work with resale and new construction. So if there's any concern, we can normally give you a tip. Choosing to work with a realtor can be an amazing experience for you and we're going to be your friends for a lifetime. Any questions you may have, any ideas you may have, maybe you want to decide to start renting your home out. We can compare what renting your home and selling your home could mean for you and your family as far as any financing decisions that you may want to make. Don't forget that you build a lifelong relationship with the realtor. It may be the case with the sales rep, but it's not very common. Highly, highly, highly recommend that you reach out to a realtor when you're purchasing a new home. And I hope after watching this video, you agree. If you're still watching, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and write any comments below on things that you really enjoyed about this video. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch me. I'm going to drive around the corner here in this new construction site to stop to see the progress on one of my clients' homes. I'm super excited to be out here checking to see what progress has been done since the last time we were here together and I can't wait for this client's home to be ready so they can come in look at the home and get super excited about move-in date currently in this neighborhood there are no inventory homes it just started so nothing is ready for move-in they're actually still working on the model home I just drove by there it's not even completed yet so this neighborhood is a brand new neighborhood if you know anyone who's looking to purchase a new home please send them out to me I do this every day I go check out new sites new construction pricing taxes all the information about schools anything you need you name it I am looking for it so don't forget to send me those referrals guys and I do appreciate those of you that have sent me referrals thank you so much for your referrals I really appreciate them I'll see you next Monday on my newest video guys for now goodbye and have a wonderful week